Hello, I'm Michael Carey, Licensing Associate at Wharf. And I'm Stephanie Whitehorse, Director of IP for the Physical Sciences. It's our pleasure to nominate Jiamian Hu and Shi Hao Zhuang for the 2021 Wharf Innovation Award. Their improved narrowband terahertz emitter has the potential to safely and non-intrusively detect explosives and other dangerous materials in places like subway stations, stadiums, or other public areas. Congratulations on this accomplishment. We are looking forward to working with this team to further develop the technology. Hello everyone, my name is Jamin Hu. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Material Science Engineering and the University of Wisconsin-Madison. So we want to create a new security screening technology for public places that normally do not have a strong security system yet. For example, like subway stations, shopping malls, concert halls, a big sports stadium. So let's use the subway station as a, an example. So let's say there's a person coming in in the subway station with explosive hidden in the bags. Is it possible to have a small security scanning system, like a small detector in your room, for detecting these dangerous explosives? So our technology can do that. Our technology is called a narrowband spintronic terahertz emitter, which uniquely combines two important features. The first, these terahertz waves are safe from people. They can penetrate the bags just like the X-rays, but they are safe. Second, they can detect a chemical species like the explosive very accurately because of their narrow spectral bandwidth. For example, if there's another person coming in with bags of harmless powders like sugar, they will be fine with the detector. Our design terahertz emitter is simply composed of three layers, a metal film, a media for transmitting sound wave, and a magnetic film from left to right. The metal film is used to convert the incident laser pulse to an ultrasonic pulse, and this ultrasonic pulse travels across the media layer and then into the magnetic film. Imagine that the magnetic film is composed of a huge amount of small magnets. The traveling ultrasonic pulse triggers the motion of these small magnets and excites their wavy oscillation, just like small stone in water and excite water wave. In magnets, such wave is called spin wave, and spin wave emits terahertz electromagnetic wave. So the concept of this technology is entirely new. So far, we have identified what is the best material and what are the optimum thicknesses for each layer using our own computer model. So the next step is to fabricate the same film stacks through the collaboration with researchers who can grow really high quality films and the collaboration with researchers who can measure this terahertz emission. We will then use their measurements to refine our own computer model and then do another cycle of computational design, fabrication, and measurement until we optimize the device performance. We believe such closed-loop efforts are very efficient and we have already made some good progress on the experiments.